Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. We're going to continue on the fruity summer fragrance. I guess it's going to be a series. <laughs> um, this time I have a group of Escada fragrances. I would say that I think that Escada fragrances are an easy reach for the spring and summer. They have nice fruity um, bright, um, very pleasant smelling fragrances. What I've noticed is some of them last and some of them don't. From my experience um, with the fragrances that I have. So in my collection, I have six different Escada fragrances. Um, I've started picking them up, I'll say around 2013 or 14. I started getting them at the Canadian or American border at that time because that's when I used to be crossing back and forth from Michigan to Canada to get to Buffalo. And I would go into the duty-free shop and that's where I started seeing them and that's where I started buying them. So, we're going to start off with the Escada Taj Sunset. If you've seen my other videos, you already know this is one of my favorite fragrances, period. And it's one of my favorite Escada fragrances. And a favorite summer fragrance. This is a beautiful um sweet fruity fragrance i forgot what fragrance note is in here whatever it was i was surprised to find out that that's what it was and like i tell y'all sometimes when i'm looking for stuff i can't find it right away in my notebook I found it pretty quickly this time. This one has mango and nectarine. Actually has more um, um, fruits than that. It's a actual a nice fruit bowl type fragrance. But what stands out is the mango. This is such a beautiful, fruity bright fragrance it's actually like no other fragrance that i've ever smelled i really like it it might be um not that special to some people because escada now is not that expensive but when i first started buying them i wouldn't say it was expensive but i probably paid a good 70 or 80 dollars for this now you can find them for like 25 dollars 30 dollars probably sometime less than that um but they are beautiful they're easy reach easy buy whenever i see these in the discount stores i'll pick them up without even being worried what the fragrant notes are because i haven't found one that i didn't like i found some that i like more than others but not one that i didn't like or wouldn't use so there's that so that's escada Taj Sunset. Let me see what. Oh, it has um, Water Lily and Lotus. So that's giving it some of the brightness also. The next Scott I have is Aqua Del Sol. This is another pretty um, fruity fragrance. I want to say this one has some creaminess in it. Sorbet. It has sorbet and ice cream in it on top of the raspberry and pear and other fruit notes. Another fruit basket fragrance that I really enjoy. I love these type of fragrance in the, it's fragrances in the summer. This one gives pretty decent silage and longevity. I would say at least four hours. Also, the Escada, 
the Escada Taj Sunset gives about the same, about the same um, four hours and a decent silage. Silage. <laughs> um, this one, as you see, I, I've used it up pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think. I want to say I've I've had like two bottles of this, I think. I think I've bought the original bottle that I had from the Duty Free Shop. And then I found it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Now, I'm going back and forth. Okay, so the Taj Sunset, I had to hunt this one down. I eventually found it on Groupon. And I think I just got the Taj Sunset. I'll say about three years ago. Whereas this one, I've had it longer. The Aqua Del Sol, I've had longer. So the next fruity fragrance, this one is a bit more floral. And actually, it has um, a tequila note in it. So it's very bright and fruity. Just like the rest of them, bright and fruity. It has a little bit more floral, like I said. Um, it's kind of like a tequila sunrise. I think it has orange. Let's see. Yes, it has orange in it. So it's very pretty. Um... Just an easy reach. You'll put it on, you'll smell good, and you'll feel good. It'll make you smile. It's just that type of fragrance. Um, this has got a, I know I found it like at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And this is just the one ounce. Whereas the other ones I showed you before are like a three ounce or a 3.4. 3.3. So it's 100 mil, whereas this one is a 30 mil. And I think I bought this, this is 22. I think I bought this in 2020. I don't think I bought it. It's possible I bought it in 21, but I think I bought it in 2020. And I've used a decent amount of it. I'll probably finish it off this year. It's such a nice, easy fragrance, like I said. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm enjoying it more this year than I did last year. Now, this Escada is Candy Love. This is new to me. I've seen some people talk about it on the YouTubes. And so I seen it in a store and I picked it up. This one is another... Fruity fragrance. Easy reach. Um, this one has like a candy apple note. And it just smells good. It has a, I think it has whipped cream in it. Do I have this written down? I have it written down, but I can't see it. But I think this one has whipped cream. So the candy apple and the whipped cream is just giving it a swest. Swest. It's giving it <laughs> a fresh, fruity fragrance <laughs> and i've um tested this but i haven't actually used it but i do enjoy the fragrance from the test i can't remember about the sea lodge or the longevity but it's just another fun easy reach type of fragrance now the Miami Blossom, as you see, I have tested it quite a bit because I just got this one a few months ago. This is the one with the pineapple note. When I tested it, it was a bit more cold outside. So I don't know if it's getting lost with the cool weather it smells good when I first spray it and it disappears. So I don't know what is going on with this.
but I was so excited about getting it because it had the pineapple note. It also has watermelon in it. And it's another, excuse me, fruit bowl type of fragrance that I was excited to have. I'm still excited, but I just hope that the performance in increases. It's such a beautiful, fruity, um, kind of tropical fragrance. This one is called Miami Blossom. Let me know in the comments if you have this fragrance. Did you get it this year? Did you get it last year? Does it have to sit for a while before it um, gives better um, projection and longevity? I'm not sure. Or does it, you have to wear it in the heat, in the dead of heat, where it has a, a chance to shine and it'll stick to your body and really project? I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to try it. I think this week is going to be a warm week. So I'm going to try it. Maybe I'll get better performance from it, hopefully, because I really like the scent. And that was Miami Blossom. I have another new one for me, which is the Escada Cerbeto Rosso. This is the watermelon fragrance that I was so excited about getting. As you can see, I did some testing. This one is also a fleeting fragrance. It smells beautiful. I've heard people talk about it. My nose is itching. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. It has a fruity creaminess to it. I've heard people talk about this one. And I don't remember if they said they got good longevity or sea lodge on it. I just remember them saying that they liked the fragrance and that they were excited because it's a watermelon fragrance. Why is my nose itching so much? I was excited to get it. Um... This one, I think I found it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is the Sorbetto Rosso. And the Miami Blossom is the one that I ordered, I think, from FragranceNet. Anyway, happy to have it. I'm just disappointed about the silage and the longevity. I want these fragrances to give me at least four hours so I can be pretty and bright and fresh and fruity in the summertime with my summer dress on. That's all I want, my sundress. So these are the six fragrances that I have. I'll run over the notes again pretty quickly. So the Sorbito Rosso is watermelon. The Miami Blossom is pineapple. The Escada Sunset is mango and nectarine. The Aqua Del Sol is ice cream, raspberry, and pear. The Flor Del Sol is tequila. And orange and grenadine. And the candy love is candy apple with whipped cream, I think. Beautiful fragrances. Like I said, some have decent longevity and silage, and some of them not so sure, but they all smell. Fruity and bright for the summer. So, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, hello to all the new subscribers. I'm happy to have you here. I hope you're enjoying this. If you haven't had a chance to go through some of my videos on this channel. I talk a lot about fragrances. 
I have a lot of fragrance hauls, a lot of um, clothing and shoe hauls, um, clothing and shoe try-ons, um, just a lot of lifestyle type of videos. I have empties, I talk about candles, I talk about makeup, um, skincare or um, body routines, fragrance routines, layering videos. So if you're interested in all that, um, keep watching, check out some of my videos, share with a friend, and let's grow my channel. And hopefully I get to 500 pretty soon so I can do the giveaway. I'm looking forward to having that announcement. And in the meantime, once again, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.